everybody, my name is Sarah Jo. This week, I'm co-hosting music lessons with Carlos. See you! Welcome, everybody, to another live session in music lesson webinar with Carlos. Today, we will cover different topics, such as ear training, music theory, keyboard skills, chord progressions, and contemporary voicings. We also have some new piano tutorials, so stay tuned, and let's get started. Sarah Jo, thank you very much for that uh, version uh, of Misty. As you can see, uh, it's a heavily 
reharmonized uh, version. And uh, yeah, I asked uh, Sarah too if she can uh, spend some time yeah, with us explaining us what did she do? Yeah, yeah, what did she do with that, uh, with that chord progression? Yeah, that was uh, very exciting to me as a composer. Yeah, to see what uh, uh, Sarah Jo has done. Okay, so what I would like to do is um, I would like to play this uh, version again. Yeah, and let me see. Yeah, so I would like to, yeah, and I think some of the notes are actually visible. Yeah, some of the chords are quite visible. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to put a link, yeah, uh, on the, uh, somewhere, yeah, on the video, yeah, uh, 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 so that uh, those who are interested in, uh, in getting a copy, yeah, obtaining a copy of the, of the, uh, this piano arrangement can do so. So why don't we listen to it again?
Okay, wow, yeah, that was a great, great reharmonization version and arrangement of Misty. Okay, so we're gonna start now with a, our ear training workout. And what I wanna do, <clears throat> because I wanna do a lot of things with solfage, so I wanna start warming up with our chromatic scale. Yeah, in the key of C. So left hand is going to play a note pedal, and then we're going to play a C up and down, and we're going to pay attention to, let's pay attention to the chromatic scale. So we're going to sing and play. Do, di, re, re, mi, fa, fi, sol, si, la, li, ti, and descending. Do, ti, te, la, le, so, se, fa, mi, me, re, ra, do. Okay. We're going to do the same now in bass clef. Okay, so now in bass clef, we're going to play a major triad as our pedal. We're going to play uh, our bass line. Yeah, it's a chromatic scale, ascending, descending, always paying attention to the syllables. And here we go. Do, ti, re, re, mi, fa, fi, so, si, la, li, ti, do. Descending. Do, ti, te, la, le. So se fa mi me re ra do. Okay, so that's um, a quick um, a warm up. Hey, Hiram, welcome, welcome to our class. Yeah, yeah, right on time to join us. Okay, so what I want to do next is I want to work with. Yeah, this is a bit more involved. Yeah, this is a bit more involved. Okay, so we have a chromatic approach notes. Yeah, so if you see the second beat, we are going to go up, do, di, re, re, mi, fa, fi, sol, but we have a, a chromatic approach note, yeah, to the note. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> so why don't we uh, sing and play at the same time? Here we go. Ra, ti, do, re, do, ti, me, di, re, mi, re, ri, fa, ri, mi, se, mi, fa, so, fa, fi, le, fi, so, la, so, si. Si la ti la li do li ti ra ti do. Okay, so if you can see, the second beat was just uh, our typical um, chromatic scale, just ascending. Yeah, so pretty much what uh, whoops, what we did just a few minutes ago. Yeah, the ascending part. So now, okay, now we're gonna go descending. And if you can see the second beat, do, ti, te, la, le, so. Yeah, we have the descending chromatic uh, portion of the scale, but we're gonna do chromatic approach notes. Okay, so let's just read, and this is fun and uh, very, very useful, yeah, too to to do a workout on this. So why don't we start? Ra ti do do li ti ti la te ti si la la so le le fi sol sol fa se se mi fa Fa, re, mi, mi, re, me, me, di, re, re, 
Okay, so let's just check the pattern. So we had an approach note, which is a, a ascending. <clears throat> so we're going to go to Do, and then we have an approach note from the upper, lower to the note. Upper, lower to the note. And we did the same, ascending upper, chromatic, lower chromatic, and uh, we end up on the note. Okay, upper chromatic, lower chromatic, and then we ended up on the on the note of the chromatic scale. Okay, so we also can do another variation, yeah, which is lower, upper, and target note. Lower, upper, target note. Lower, upper, target note. Those are actually workouts that uh, uh, jazz players and composers actually would uh, would would do okay and what happened here okay yeah so <laughs> i have to correct this page luckily we're not doing this page today okay <laughs> good yeah so those are our chromatic approach notes but something else that i want to do today are going to be kind of a model interchange triads Okay, not triad qualities today, but model interchange triads. Okay, so this is going to be fun. So here we have the seven triad qualities, which we do in our warm-up. Yeah, we do our warm-up with the seven uh, triads. Yeah. And but what we're going to do is we're going to break them up using this pattern root five three five yeah and we're going to let's just the very first time let's just follow the order yeah so we have major minor diminished flat five augmented sus four sus two here i'm going to have a complete different sequence yeah so we don't get locked into a certain sequence but we're always practicing yeah with different uh with different variations different perm permutations so here we go. Okay, one moment. Okay, good. So we're going to sing. Yeah, so let's let's start. And we're going to use this pattern. Root 5, 3, 5. So why don't we start? Do, sol, mi, sol, minor. Do, sol, mi, sol. Diminished. Do, se, me, se, major flat five. Do, se, mi, se, augmented. Do, si, mi, si, sus four. Do, sol, fa, sol, sus two. Do, sol, re, sol, do. So what we can do is we can take this pattern in all different keys and using different C, different uh, chord sequences. Okay, so why don't we go to D flat, D flat, and we're gonna do this chord sequence now. So we're gonna start D flat minor, augmented, diminished, or C sharp diminished, D flat major, D flat sus two, D flat major flat five. D flat sus4. Okay. We're gonna use this pattern. Yeah, root five, three, five. Okay, so and we're gonna use this chord sequence, but in D flat. So let's see if we can do it. Do sol me sol augmented. Do si mi si diminished. Do se Major do sol mi sol sus two do sol re sol major flat five do se mi se and sus four do sol fa sol do. 
okay yeah that's uh that's a great workout yeah i don't know if i should write everything out because what um, the purpose of this workout is that uh just with that information and just with a very basic information the key of c we can just move around to all different keys so let's go to the key of b flat we're gonna continue with that chord sequence b flat minor augmented diminished major sus2 major flat 5 and sus4 now using this pattern we are gonna go through the whole sequence here we go do sol me sol augmented do si mi si diminished do se me se major do sol mi Sol sus two, do sol re sol major flat five, do se mi se and sus four, do sol fa sol do. Okay, that's my modal interchange workout. Yeah, using all the different the uh, triad qualities. So now we're gonna continue with our exploration using movable dough solfage. And what are we gonna do? Let's apply this. Okay, we're gonna apply this. And yeah, whoops. Let me change my keyboard layout. Okay, good. So now, what do we have here? We have a bebop blues, the key of F. Yeah, and we're gonna explore our movable do solfege or a, mov a movable solfege now in the key of F. Yeah, so the first step would be to play the chords. Yeah, very basic. Yeah, we don't have to play uh, uh, extensions. Now, for the first uh, part, and we're just going to sing the bass line. So here we go. One, two, three, and do. Fa, do, any octave. Sol, do, fa, fa. Do, la, re, sol, do. Okay, so that's the very first pass. Yeah, so we're playing the root motion and we're playing the chords at the same time. So let's do another pass, yeah? And now we're going to use extensions, yeah? And that's going to be maybe a little bit trickier to the ear. So here we go. One, two, three, and do. take it to another level now we are going to play a uh, open voices but we're not gonna play the root no we're, we're not gonna play the bass we're gonna sing the bass yeah so let's see if we can we we can practice like this a uh, one two three and do fa do so do fa fi do mi la re sol turn around do la re sol do okay that was fun 
Now we're going to take it to another level. Now we're going to play maybe just one note with the left hand. And we're going to sing the chord tone uh, arpeggio for the for each chord. Yeah? So we have if we have F7, Do, Mi, Sol, Te, yeah, and everything in the key of uh, key of F. And parts that are tricky. Let's see here on the second line we have the four, Fa, La, Do, Mi, sharp four, Fi, La, Do, Mi. And we go back to the one, but now we have a two five. Mi, Sol, Te, Re, La, Di, Mi, Sol. And then we have this 2-5, no problem, but here we have this turnaround. That, that can be tricky. Do, Mi, Sol, Te, La, Di, Mi, Sol, Re, Fa, La, Do, Sol, Ti, Re, Fa, Do. Okay, let's sing. Let's sing together. And play. Three. Seven. Do mi sol te to five of two. Mi sol te re la mi sol. Oops, <laughs> I, I ran out of air. Yeah, so let's start here again. Mi three and mi sol te re la di mi sol re pa la do sol ti. Turn around and do mi sol te la di mi sol re fa la do sol ti re fa do. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Maybe now we can uh, uh, sing against the bass line. Three and do mi sol te fa la do. What a wonderful workout, yeah? So now we're gonna take it to another level. Another level, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go descending. Okay, descending, we're gonna do a couple passes. First, just we're gonna play only a single note. That's the best way actually to practice. So we really kind of internalize. Okay, places that are tricky. Here we have a, on the second line, fourth measure, two, five of two. Sol mi, sol me di la. I'm just jumping up and down the any octave, yeah. And then we go do la fa re, and then we have here our turnaround. Te sol mi do, sol me di la do la fa re, fa re ti sol do. Okay, we're gonna practice together. Three. Okay, 
okay, we're gonna do it again, and maybe now we're gonna throw a bass line. Three, and, yeah, three, four. Te sol mi do, me do la fa. Te sol mi do, fa re te sol, te sol mi do, me do la fa, me do la fi. Sol mi do, re te sol mi sol mi di la do la fa re, fa re ti sol. Turn around. Te sol mi do sol mi di la fa do la fa re, fa re ti sol do. Let's do the turn around again. I made a mistake. Three and te sol mi. Sol mi di la do la fa re fa re ti sol do. Okay, this is a nice workout. Yeah, this is something that uh, we may wanna enjoy practicing. <clears throat> okay, good. What are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do next? I wanna do some ensemble playing. Actually, that's something that. Uh, yeah. It's uh, very cool, yeah, that we actually can do this online. Yeah, so we have this uh, chord progression, and I think we uh, played this progression before. Let me change my camera so it matches. Okay, perfect. Now it matches. Okay, so we have here this chord progression, and we have different type of voice leading. Okay. So what is the logic behind this? The logic is that I'm going to start in a certain position. I'm going to go through the whole voice leading, through the whole chord progression using a certain type of voice leading. I'm going to end up on the same, uh, um, in, in the same position. Like in this case, if I have this uh, turnaround in the end, I have an E flat, E flat over G, F, A flat over B flat, and back to E flat 7. And I think I did this before in class. So I want to go to the last, yeah, to the last uh, a voice leading. And there is a technique that uh, we use a lot, which I call it a uh, chord chunking, yeah, which is we're going to ignore all the, uh, all the harmonic rhythm. We're just going to play chord, 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 chord. And if we have a repeating voicing, we just skip. Yeah, so let's just do one pass and then we're going to play with a band. So E flat seven, A flat seven, back to E flat seven, B flat seven. Now we're going to try it. E flat, C minor, A flat, B flat. Repeat E flat, C minor, A flat, B flat. Now third line E flat, B flat. C minor, A flat, E flat, B flat, and turn around. A flat, E flat over G, F minor, A flat over B flat, and back to E flat 7. Yeah, so I took all the harmonic rhythm away. Yeah, everything is just pulse. Let's, let's just practice this uh, turn around a few times. Yeah, so A flat, flat over G, F minor. A flat over B flat, back to E flat sound. Let's do it again. A flat, E flat over G, F minor, A flat over B flat, and E flat sound. So now we're going to play with a band. Okay, we're going to play this twice. Two, three, and.
those are nice workouts. Yeah, we're gonna do a we're gonna do one at least. Yeah, a different week with different chords, different keys. Yeah, and this is a a great uh, ensemble. Yeah, practice. Okay, what are we gonna do next? I wanna work with um, I wanna work with an etude. Okay, so here we have. Um, we have this uh, improvisation etude, and um, we have a certain pattern. The pattern is Re, Mi, La, Sol, and we're going to go through a certain sequence. In this case, we have a sequence of a minor, minor, a minor third cycle. Yeah. So why don't we just practice our left hand? We're going to forget about the right hand for now. So left hand only. C. E flat, everything is going to be a major seven root position for now. Yeah, so we're not going to play any any voice, a, any extensions, nothing. Yeah, so this is just very basic. Yeah, chord tones. C, E flat, G flat, A, D flat, E, G, B flat, any, any active, D, F, A flat, B, and back to C. Okay, so now we're gonna play. We're gonna add our right hand slowly. Yeah, we can swing it a little bit if we want to. Three, four, E flat, D flat, Okay, now we're gonna play with a band. Okay, so here we go. It's gonna be about 85 uh, beats per minute. One, two, three, and. Okay, so that's a nice uh, little etude, yeah. I enjoy those very much, yeah. We can explore all different type of chord sequences with different patterns, yeah, in different grooves. So now we're gonna work with our left hand, yeah. Okay, and let's just practice our chord sequence with the right hand just by itself. C, everything is major seven in root position, C. E flat, G flat, A, D flat, E, G, B flat, D, F, A flat, B, and back to C. So now we're going to add the bass line. One, two, three. Okay, <laughs> yeah, one, should have practiced this one more. 
Okay, nevertheless, yeah, this is here. I'm gonna leave the uh, I'm gonna leave the video there, so you actually, folks, you can practice this one. This is this is really good, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna work with those little etudes, yeah, every class. So good, and what are we gonna do next? I would like to close today with, yeah, this is actually a cool one. We have this Montuno. We're gonna explore this Montuno in two, three, and three, two clave. So it's a dominant, yeah. And then we're gonna work with a three-two version of this of this pattern. One, two, three, and okay. So let me get out of here and let's start. Yeah. Okay, one thing that I like to do first is to play pulse quarter notes against the right hand. Yeah, so it's a great way of practicing all our montunos that way. So here we go. One, two, three, and. We're gonna do the same with a Montuno in three to clave. And we're gonna play quarter notes. We're gonna be tapping quarter notes. Or we can be even tapping on our lap, probably that's even better. Yeah, but you know, since I'm here with, with the upper uh, uh, overhead camera, it's better that I tap here. So here we go. One, two, three, and Let's go back to two, three. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play with percussion. Maybe a minute or so, each one. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. gonna go to our three two montuno we're gonna do the same what I'm doing is uh, we're working now with 148 beats per minute uh, so we're gonna continue so here we go one two one two one two three four take the tempo up. Let's go back to our 2-3 Montuno and 
Now let's go to 164 beats per minute. So mm -hmm. that's already kind of medium, medium tempo. And here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> do the same in 3-2 clave. Yeah, 3-2 clave can be a bit tricky because we are starting yeah, so that, that part is a, is a bit tricky. So now we're going to play 164 beats per minute, 3-2 clave. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. a notch. Yeah, we're gonna go to 180 beats per minute. Yeah, if we can do this, we're happening. We're happening. Okay, so let's start. Two, three, 180 beats per minute. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> good and now we're gonna work we're gonna do the same in three two clave three two clave and here we go 180 beats per minute one two one two one two three four <laughs> was good yeah <laughs> I felt that we really practiced quite a bit yeah so that's that is great okay so then uh, um, I will see everybody next Sunday same time uh, Los Angeles time PST 7 p.m. and but I'm gonna put this video I'm gonna leave it online both in Facebook and YouTube so uh, we all can practice we all can practice in different time zones so 
I'll see you next week. So, thank you for being with me in this live broadcast. We covered a lot of material and we're going to continue to do so in our next class. I'll see you next week, same time, same channel. Until then, have a wonderful week, practice your instrument every day, and listen, and play lots of good music. See you next week. We are going to play this piano piece titled Latin Riff 50. This piece is part of the book titled Ultimate Latin Riffs for Piano, which I co-authored with pianist Andrew Gordon. This rhythm is called Partido Alto and originates in Brazil. It consists of different ways of playing the samba by introducing elements of funk, jazz and rock. The electric bass uses slap technique and the drummer will use heavy accents on the snare. Artists that inspired me to learn this rhythm include Ayrton Moreira and the group Azimuth. Let's practice the first section in a slower tempo. Let's start playing in a slower tempo. One, two, three, and... Now we're going to play the second section. We're going to play the last two lines. One, two, three, and... One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, 
three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four.